Hello, this is Dream Spirit, and this is the second part of my mini discussion about Power Auras mod. Uh, I actually went into Eye of the Storm just as a total pug uh, to get some footage and try to play a little aggressively. Starting off, the little symbol you see around my player portrait and my target portrait between the two is actually a symbol that I have showing up from Power Auras that tells me that I'm fear warded. It's very faint, so it doesn't really distract me from the rest of the game. So anyways, I run in. I save somebody's life up there. And the next thing I'm going to show you is the leaf icon. It just disappeared. That was actually for my two minute talisman of the alliance. I have the leaf icons usually on both sides of my screen because it really just helps me visually see uh, when both of those are up. The ones that I see really important in PvP are my talisman of the alliance, which is a two minute cooldown and then my Nature Swiftness, which is a three minute cooldown. In any case here, I'm literally just running around and just healing as absolutely much as possible. There are five Horde on this guy, and somehow I managed to keep him up by my lonesome. Keep pouring more hots and such on him until help hopefully arrives. Um, one of the things that happened here is that little icon you see to the upper left that was telling me that someone in my party was Viper Stung, so I got rid of that real quick. And then continue to try to keep myself topped off and just sort of rotate heals all around whoever is anywhere nearby me. I don't use Healbot or any of those sort of healing mods, though I will probably be giving them a try. What you actually see here on my screen for the raid party targeting is simply X Pearl. One of the other things you may see is the little symbols above my head that have a character's name and their server. That particular mod's name is Spell Watcher. That just tells me what people are casting nearby me. So I can just sort of be aware and it gives me a heads up if I can't see someone but they're casting nearby. At this point, Fell River Ruins is pretty much overrun, but myself and a couple others are just sort of sticking it out over there. I'm also pretty ohm at this point. Manage Cyclone on the Rogue. And as I see one of my allies escaping, I get silenced. Right there. And that is Power Aura telling me I was silenced and for how long. Uh, the footage here is also sped up t about 20%, I think. The match was about a 15 minute match. Over the months, my UI has gotten progressively less cluttered, which has been extremely helpful. You may see also, sort of to the lower right-hand side of my screen, is a second place where I can see my mana bar. No matter what form I'm in, that just is really helpful as a secondary reminder. Here I'm actually running after this druid and putting a couple combo points on him so I can hopefully when the time is right, lock him down in a meme. One of the things you might also notice is I have X Pearl set up to give me an aggro warning across my screen when an enemy player targets me. Likewise, that'll turn green as soon as no enemy players are targeting me. This is really helpful in battlegrounds where you may not be aware of someone nearby, but if you see an aggro warning, you know that someone's looking at you. Now here, I know that some of my allies are coming. But I don't really get a good look on how many people are here. There are actually about 11 horde all right now after me. I got in the double digits there for a second. It's very hard to see, but managed to hold them off just a little while. 
I found one of the things that I like about being a resto druid is that I can run in and just sort of essentially stall or attack either on the flag spot in the center if I really need to. By running away, it sort of spreads the horde out. So hopefully when the allies come in, they can um, take them by surprise and such. Just keep in mind that this footage was literally put together to show power auras. So you're not going to see any extreme 1v1 battles here, but you will see a lot of healing, and some CC when it wouldn't have let other people die. And some of the different things you can set up with power auras to help you in your game. Because it's a buff and debuff monitor on both yourself, uh, your party, raid members, you can use any spell, you can use it as a way to check buffs, to check consumables, flasks, whatever you like. During this match, I kept trying to go out of combat to drink, but there just wasn't really the opportunity. And I kept seeing people that were about 15% health or so, and I was just trying to constantly save their lives. Also here, while you can't see it very well, I was just zooming into Alar BG Helper, which I absolutely adore. Here it shows a little mini-map and also shows what towers and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, for Warsun Gulch it gives you buttons to be able to yell incomings. For Alarag Valley you get timers. Um, for AB you also get timers and that type of thing. It's just really helpful overall. One of the things I was also trying to do in some of these ones is I was trying to bait people to use some of the abilities that I actually have checked in Power Auras. So see, right there you'll see that I got Viper Stung, then I immediately cleanse it and loose the rogue by making him fall off the side there. <laughs> When rogues are after me in battlegrounds or other spots, one of the things I'm really big on is just trying to get a fairy fire. Um, even if they have Cloak of Shadows up, I am just standing there and that's usually one of the main things I'm spamming, just so they can't vanish. It may take two, three or more times, but that's what, it's one of my biggies. There, I just got off a of maim on the shaman. Interrupted him from healing. And what's actually rather surprising in these videos, at least for me, is that I know when I go in arena, I tend to keyboard turn a ton. And for some reason, in battlegrounds, I don't tend to do that. I'm not sure why it is. I just fast forwarded through me drinking. We're back at Fell River Runes, really hard and trying to, to attack it or take it. This game actually went back and forth between two capping and three capping. Since I'm not in here with a group of friends, I also try to stay um, out of sight as much as possible from the horde just because I don't have anyone to directly support me. And our team lineup, just because it was a pug, was very light. And he lives yet again. Except I'm out of mana, so I can't use my instant right now. But does it matter? So we have a win. In any case, thank you for watching my video. And I hope you enjoyed a little peek into how I battleground.